Hello, Jess Too Good here, and today I'm taking a look at the LEGO Ninjago Uno cards, which this is very interesting, okay? I think somebody on Instagram messaged me and was like, hey, have you ever heard of the Ninjago Uno cards? They were like not released in the US, and I was like, wait, isn't Uno owned by like Mattel? So if there was Ninjago Uno cards, that would be made by a rival manufacturer. Another thing I noticed, no LEGO logo anywhere. What's going on here? Well, from my understanding, I think this is a bootleg. Look here. It says 2003 copyright. Ninjago was first released in 2011. Malil. My, Mail. My, like, it's not Mattel, basically. <laughs> you see? Ma, Malel. Malel. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> so, I, or I think these are just bootleg cards, but... Let's see what, what, what is brought with them. I like how they have this set just on the side. There's like a, a, a transparent image of that just plastered on. And yeah, no copyright signal for Ninjago or anything like that. But I guess bootleg Unos are a thing. So here are the two decks. All right, these look bootleg as all heck because it's the printing, like I said, is so dried out. And these are just artwork, I think, from the trading cards, like, uh, you know, the, the actual Ninjago card game that used to exist. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. This doesn't look like the trading card. Well, these two, yeah, are definitely not the trading card artwork because you see that's just a minifigure shot and this is another shot probably from the show. And then the skip or whatever with Lloyd Garment on. Plus two. Plus four. Um, that's a... Isn't this one from like a late... Or maybe that was the same. That was year two, but I, that, I thought that was from a later season, but I might be wrong. Oh yeah, I think that was year two. And there you go. <laughs> Let's see the rules. It says, the winner is the first player to reach 500 points. However, the game may be scored by keeping a running total of the points each player is caught with at the end of each hand. When on player wretches, because isn't it supposed to have an E there, 500 points, period, lowercase, the player with the lowest Hints is a winner. Reninging, reninging, reninging. You may choose not to play a playable card from your hand. If so, you must draw a card from the draw piles. If playable, the card can. If playable, the card can't be played. But you may not play a card from you hand after the draw. Thank you. Very cool. Rules for two players. Special rules for two players. Quotes, Uno, playing a reverse card works like playing a skip card. By playing the reverse, you may immediately play another card. By playing a skip, you may immediately play another card. After draw two or a wild draw four, your opponent draws a number of cards indicated and play is back to you. Sit across from your partner. When either goes or, <laughs> when either goes or the hand is over. Total all of the points in both opposing players' hands and score for the winning team. Variation. With four player, play four hands with each of the other three players as your partner. A total of 12 hands? No, they mean 12 cards. Wait, play four hands. Oh, I don't, I don't even know. Each player keeps stack of he's points scored in each partnership. Play several line, rounds with the person scoring the highest number. Os points declared the winner. Period. With eight players, play two separate games at two tables. Period. With each player having 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 every other player as a partner for four hands each a total of 28 cards score as above this game is scored by keeping a running total of what each player is caught holding in his hand as each player reaches a designated amount that play is eliminated from the game when only two players are left in they play head to head when a player reaches or exceeds the amount designated they lose the winner of the final hand is declared the winning player of the game this variation is the most challenging way to play thank you 
there's more, but I think you guys get the point. This is some horrible grammar. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so I guess we answered a question. What is this? Well, this is a bootleg Ninjago. I was hoping it would be like official because I was kind of working on a list of like when rival toy companies to Lego teamed up. This one cannot be on that list though because this is just a bootleg. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this little video and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.